Hello everyone! So glad you guys are back and joining me today. We're going to be making a fun fold using the Prize Peony bundle. Um, I believe this is called a Z fold, so that's how it stands. And it's just a little bit different, um, different variation from the usual. So I am going to make a slightly different one today. Um, we are using that Prize Peony bundle, um, which I'm showing you right now. I've got a random leaf there, so I was just pointing that out, but um must have been from another project and I've kept it in there so I can use it next time. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to use a petal pink uh, normal card base, which is um 14.9 centimeters by 10.5 centimeters, or your five and one quarter of an inch by four inches. So we're just going to use our trusty trimmer here and I'm just going to score it um, just in half. So um, again in the um, inches and centimeters the measurements will be down below, um, don't worry. Um, but for us Aussies it is at the 5.25 centimeters or about um, the two inches um, mark for those um, using inches. So then once that's done, we'll use a bone folder just to give us a nice crease. And then I'll bring out my designer series paper as well. So I love this one. Um, it's just a beautiful classic um, grey granite peonies. Um, so it doesn't really need much colour. That's why the petal pink is in there. But um, I'm just gluing that on with some liquid glue. Um, so just sticking that on. And it does make sure you do have it the right way. It does sort of face upwards you don't want your flowers to point downwards or maybe you do it's up to you um, but do try and make sure that both pieces um, do face the same way regardless of how you want your piece of paper your DSP to face so once that's glued on that's pretty much our card base done so then we will actually look at um, creating and putting together our peony Okay, so then we're going to put together, uh, die cut our pieces. I've already pre-cut them, um, but I'll just bring out the peony dies. There are four dies to create the uh, peony. Um, so I want to use the largest and then the third largest in the uh, petal pink. And then the second and the smallest piece um, using the vellum. So, um, and that way you can sort of stack them on there. It's really important the order because you don't when you glue them on, you don't want them to sh the glue to show. Um, so what I'm actually going to do with the vellum is actually going to use a blushing bride and use your sponge daub or whatever you have. I've just got this little blending tool that I already had, and I'm just going to dab on the petal, uh, the blushing bride. Actually, not the petal pink. The petal the paper cards off in petal pink, um, but I actually use blushing bride because it's actually just a little bit darker. Um, so it sh shows up a little bit better than the uh, petal pink ink. So just add that, be a bit uh, careful with it, you can't sort of swipe it or anything, you do need to dab it on because um, the vellum is quite delicate and you do want to let it dry properly because you'll see later on the video that I was a bit impatient um, and I did sort of smudge it because I didn't let it dry. So um, just popping that aside now to let it dry. Okay, so next I'm going to bring in the, um, you're going to need two pieces of um, square that's already been die cut, so I've got a um, some stitched um, square dies that I already had um, so certainly use what you have and I'm just going to glue that on whilst I wait for my um, vellum pieces to dry so just using my liquid glue I'm just going to stick that onto the inside and I won't actually do the other piece yet because we're going to construct our peony onto this um, so just gluing that piece on and I can then um, give that a chance to dry and I can then uh, work on my putting together the peony so just getting all the pieces together now um, and I'm actually going to use my bone folder just to give it a little bit more dimension um, just curling the edges just so that um, it looks a little bit prettier I guess and more realistic when we do um, construct them um, so you do want to be careful that you don't um, sort of rip the paper because there are a little bit delicate in certain areas um, but just using my bone folder just to sort of give it a little bit of curl there so with the um, vellum pieces, you will need to be careful that you do um, curl it carefully because I have ripped one in the past before, just being a little bit too uh, rough. Just don't know my own strength, you know, been working out at the gym. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so here I am using the vellum. I'm just trying to bend them a little bit, um, as you can see. And then and then I realized, hang on, it's not 100% dry. So I've gone in with my little um, blending tool and just dabbed the ink a little bit, um, just to sort of even that out. But really, you should probably use a heat gun or something to set that. Um, but I'm impatient and I wanted to just crack on with the video. 
Okay, so when you're putting the uh, peony together, I do think it's easier to go from the smallest pieces first um, and then slowly build your way up. So um, I don't know what I did with that scrap piece of paper. So I'm just using uh, a couple of little dots. Um, you really want to be careful not to use too much and then uh, slide that in and line that up at the back there. So because um, the avalon piece is behind, you can't actually see the glue. Um, so again, using the next size up, I'm going to sort of slide that in just a little bit over the edge and using my liquid glue and gluing those little dots on. So I have split this up a little bit, um, just so again, you know, the watch glue dry and we're lining that all up. Okay, so um, yeah, if you don't forget to put a comment below as well. If you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe as well as I would appreciate your support and uh, um, yeah, love for you guys to come and watch what I do and love to share my projects with you guys. Okay, so the peony is now taking shape um, as I line up the last piece and we're going to let that dry. But this is such a beautiful peony. Um, I just I just love the vellum. It just gives it a nice softer look. Um, so it just gives it a bit more interest as well. Okay, so we're bringing out the um, stamen, which I did die cut out of the basic grey, I think it was. And I'm just going to use my Wink of Stella just to add a little bit of glitter to the stamen. Because you never, can never have enough bling. So hopefully you can sort of see the glitter when I tilt it to the side. Um, and we're just going to then glue that on. Um, that into the peony with a bit of liquid glue. Um, I did make a little bit of a mess because I had a bit of uh, problems putting it in. I forgot that I needed a little bone folder just to create a little bit of, I guess, a hole in the middle. Um, so I'm just going to put that in there now. But lucky with this liquid glue, it's perfect. It does dry clear. So um, I did have a bit of smudgy glue, but you can't even see it anymore. So there you go. And, um, and then I realized we need to do the leaves. So I'm actually going to bring out some pear pizzazz. And I'm going to cut out, uh, stamp first the um, leaves. And then I'm going to use a die cut to cut them out. Um, so I love the beautiful pear pizzazz. It goes really well with the uh, petal pink. Um, so here I am just lining that up. Um, but yeah, I did. Uh, there is some um, dies that come with this. Um, but I'm... I prefer, I'm kind of lazy and I prefer just to stamp and cut them. I think it still looks just as great um, and it's a little bit less work. So that's why I've just stamped and inked it. But there are separate dies to create sort of like a two layer leaves, if you will. Um, so I'm just using the matching dies and running through that through the machine. Um, and here we go. Here's our three pieces. And I thought, you know what, bring back the... Uh, my Wink of Stella, I'm going to give that a bit of bling that up as well and put some um, glitter on that. Um, so, you know, no rhyme or reason, just painting that on. It's so easy to use and it dries clear, leaving just a nice layer of glitter. Um, so I really like that. And just those little details um, can make a car just go from um, nice to wow. So I will bring it up a little bit closer you can, so just so you guys can sort of see that glitter. Hopefully you can see it uh, when I've tilted, it, um, but that looks really good. I'm happy with that. Okay, so we're going to bring back our um, first square die cut, please. And now we're actually going to stamp our sentiment. Um, so I'm actually going to use grey granite, I think, if I remember correctly. And I'm going to use the love and thanks to a dear friend. I really like that sentiment. So um, this will be going out to someone special. Um, and I'm just going to bring out my grey granite ink and um, ink that up and stamp that just towards the bottom left hand corner because we're going to be uh, putting the peony, goodness me, um, on the other side of the paper. So thumbs up because I got it in one go, didn't have to use up another piece of paper and I don't have ink on my hands. Yay, winning. Okay, so bringing back the peony which hopefully has dried now. And I'm going to bring back the leaves and we're going to now stick this on to our little square piece. So I'm just rearranging the leaves how I want them to go. There are two different types. Um, so I do want to mix it up. There's a smaller leaf um, and two bigger leaves. Um, so I'm just bringing my liquid glue and I'm positioning it and I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so then I'm actually going to stick on my peony and just a little bit of glue on the back of that. And then I'll um, then slowly add in the leaves one at a time. So I'm loving the way that worked. And I'm not sure if you can sort of see the glitter. 
Um, hopefully you can, but it does, those leaves do the sparkle and it matches that little stamen piece that sparkles as well. Because who doesn't want a bit more sparkle in their day? All right, so um, that's almost glued on. So let's um, put that liquid glue away. Okay, so next I'm going to bring in our ribbon. So this is the um, satin ribbon, I think in grey granite, that came with the prize peony um, suite. Um, so I am going to tie a little bit of a bow, and I'm going to do it on camera. I'm going to be brave. Um, so you can sort of see, you know what, it takes me a couple of goes. Um, but, you know, in the end I'm pretty happy with the way it works. So I'm um, just tightening that up, and I'm going to just put it against the um, peony, just to make sure that it's not too big. And I'm... I think I'm pretty happy with that size um, and then I will um, tighten it again looks like um, just want that bow to be perfect and I'm gonna bring in my scissors that I use just for ribbon um, and um, trim that nice and neat on the other edge as well and we'll put that aside now I was going to glue it but I thought what I might do is I might glue the um, piece of card the square die cut onto my card first um, as that'd be a lot easier so just bring in my liquid glue so remember, we're not going to be, um, we're only using half of it, gluing half of it on. So um, just make sure you don't go too crazy with the glue. And here, I'm just going to do is line it up with that second piece behind there and pop it down. Make sure that when you close it, you can't see anything. And then press down and hold that for a couple of seconds. And that is now glued on and that's the uh, fun fold. Gonna, oh, I, obviously I've lost a leaf um, that's okay bit of um, glue surgery and I've stuck that back on and then I'm gonna bring out my uh, mini glue dots to um, stick the bow on so this is perfect if I can just find the glue dot there we go and I'm gonna stick that on so just want to make sure I'm happy with the position so I did um, play around with it and I wanted it high up there and then I was like oh no maybe not bring it a little bit lower um, but then it sort of had to sort of it was ripping so I had to leave it there and that's okay I'm not I mean I wanted it just a little bit couple of millimeters lower but not to worry and that is pretty much the finished card I'm just giving that another uh, nice crease and yep it stands so I'm happy with that okay so I want to bring up my other variation um, so let me know in the comments below which one you prefer the one on the left which is the grey one or the one on the right which is the pink one um, I'm going to have to fix up this bow because it's so crooked on that one um, but yeah guys please give this video a thumbs up and uh, hit the subscribe button um, leave a comment below and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye